<clears throat> my metaphor for what I do is four legs of a table. The first leg is go there, wherever there is. Uh, so, you know, when, when I did the Lombardi book, it meant turning to my wife and uttering the loving words, how would you like to move to Green Bay for the winter? <laughs> to which she responded, burr, but we did. And then, of course, you know, she did, no complaints when we went to Puerto Rico for Clemente or Rome for the Olympics or Vietnam and Kenya. Um, but I feel it's very important to, to really immerse myself in the uh, sociology and geography of a place. So that's the first leg of my table. The second leg is archival research. And, you know, as you're, you know sometimes those provide the jewels. Um, for the Clinton book, uh, I, first I went there. I, I camped out in Hope, Arkansas, where little Billy Blythe, was born, not Clinton then. And uh, I stayed at a sort of a rundown motel on the edge of town, a Super 8. It was the only ho motel in Hope, Arkansas. And the night clerk um, said that she was Billy Clinton's great aunt. You know, it turned, you know, half the people in Hope said they were related to Clinton. <laughs> and the other half probably really were. <laughs> but um, nonetheless, she, it was springtime and the uh, mimosa trees were blooming and I'm an asthmatic mess and my nose was a disaster. And she felt really sorry for me. So she said, David, come on over to my house and I'll give you my magic potion for allergies. So I went over to her house and we were there and she gave me this potion and I, it got me sicker actually. But while we were there, she said, you know, up in my attic, I have all the effects of Billy's mamma, which in southern speak means grandmother. So my heart started pounding. And she brought down this big old cardboard box. And I looked inside, and the first thing I saw was stationery that said Georgetown University. And it was 100 letters that Bill had written his grandmother while he was at Georgetown. And there were a lot of jewels in there. Um, so archival research is incredibly important. For the Obama book, uh, it's not the most important thing in the world, but when, Ob when Obama's memoir came out, uh, um, Dreams of My Father, he, there's a brief section where he says, um, I was in love in New York City once, and the girl was white. And from the moment that Obama became a candidate for president. Every journalist in the world wanted to find out who this girlfriend was. And I finally did. Um, and it took three years and a lot of different ways of researching. But I found her thousands of miles away and uh, developed this relationship with her, um, which I knew was going to happen five minutes into my first conversation. You know, when you're a reporter, you just can tell there's a chemical connection with different people and some people it just doesn't work and some people does. She was kind of new agey and I'm not new agey at all but they, new agey women like me because I'm kind of <laughs> soft in a way. So I could tell right away she was sort of there and we developed a, you know, a, I had a lot of interviews and finally she wrote me an email and said, David I just read this uh, interview you gave about your Vietnam book, and you talked about how important contemporaneous documents were in getting the reality of an event. And then she typed, by the way, I kept a diary. And by the way, she gave it to me. So that was another, that's archival documents in a way. Um, the third leg of my table is the interviews, and you know, that's obvious, and I, I've done hundreds of interviews for all of my books. And the key to that is to find the right people and interview them many times. The first interview often is just to establish a relationship and the material you get from that is not really that important um, because the more you know, the more someone will tell you. So, you know, as, as, as I learn more and, and get, go back for more interviews, I get more and better information. And the fourth leg of my table is to look for what's not there, to cut through the mythology and try to find out the real story. 
So that's how I do my reporting.